and what's going on YouTube just another gaming channel bring you just another video so if you've seen the previous video the very last one I uploaded was the days of iron armor for the Titan and I said I'd be bringing the warlock and hunter and I thought I'd do them one after another so here we are with the warlock so let's have a look at this bad boy Ta -da. so this is the warlock armor and um, I gotta say this is really nice as well I'm not that keen on the, the this is the default shader essentially you know with no additional shaders um, I gotta say the the Omnigal Bond there on the arms looking very very cool so if we have a look at this um, I really like the arms as well the shoulder plates so the triple or the double plate in there looks really really nice uh, you got the fur collar uh, fur on the chest plate I, I really wish I'd been a male um, I wish I picked a male. It's a shame you can't change your character gender. It's just I like I like the way the warlock male looks. It just looks you know beefy and broader in the shoulder. Obviously, as a male is a bit bigger, but it just looks tougher and better. The females in this game aren't particularly um, well designed. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe the guys just look like they could really look after themselves. Um, I mean, it looks cool this, but you know, I just I like the male warlock. Anyway, that's besides the point. But um, you know, this is very regal, isn't it? Don't you think that? Um, it looks like a royal guard or a high lord would wear this. You know, a real lord of iron would wear this. Um, so again, like the others, nothing special about it in and of itself. Um, I think all 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 versions of it seem to have the arms come with a hand cannon reload. That seems to be on every single one. Now you can reclaim the arms at, at level three and then reinfuse them. But um, they all seem to come out as hand cannon reload, so that's a shame. I can hoping that it'd be random. Now I'm looking at the crest there on the chest. Um, I know we're looking at the arms, but that, that's absolutely beautiful. So if we have a look at the arms, that's the Omnigal Warlock Bond, ignore that. Or don't, because it's freaking awesome. Um, but we've got the Iron Banner tree there, the Iron Lords. Uh, I'm loving the double, the double plate on the shoulders, it looks really cool. And again, we've got the uh, Lord Saladin's relic icon there, the flaming axe. Okay, that the flaming axe mm -hmm. kind of sounds gay, you know, flaming wafter, you know, you know the terminology. You've got the br the bruised metal effect. Um, fur covers the entire. I just, I just wish, I honestly wish each each one of these full sets had long cloaks, like the fur collar there. And then a long cloak like an emperor's cloak. It'd be so cool, man. It'd be so cool. Um, nice design, though. Got to say, really beautiful design. And of course, the legs. Now, as as with the other pieces, uh, you need the days of iron ornaments, which I do not have for all characters. I only have a couple for the Titan. So we can preview these, though. So let's have a look. So. Again, you preview that and you get the flaming knees. Okay, we're going to have to stop using that terminology. Let's have a look at the chest piece. Oh, that's a real big difference, eh? Look at that. I mean, full full plate and chain mail there if you apply the relic. That is a big difference. I think I kind of like this look better. I mean, sure, when it's all up and running, it'll look cool. Now, how does this work? Wow, look at that. Holy shit. So you get fire in the gauntlets. That's a big difference as well. I bet that looks pretty damn goddamn good. Unfortunately, sorry, can't view it on the full character. Um, but, yeah. And, of course, we've got the helmet. Let's have a look at this. And there it is. I'm liking it. I'm liking the changes. Really nice. Really nice. So, again, let's have a quick rotation, a default shader of this character. I mean, it's a profile shot. I mean, the arm plates, those double arm plates do it for me, really nice. And long chainmail integrations at the bottom, full long dress piece. Um, horned helmet, similar to the Titans, but not as prominent. It's very cool looking. So, if we have a look at some shaders, and again, I've been wearing Chatter White with this, so it seems to work really well. For me, anyway, I think that looks particularly good. Uh, I was using the 
Thunder Lord, the Thunder Devil on the Titan. So if we check, check out how it looks on the one. Again, that works. That works. You need the like the darker, um, more subtle shaders for this particular piece of armor. So the Cirrus Minimalist, it kind of works okay. Um, again, you can imagine this type of shader as if you're part of the Royal Guard, uh, but you guarded the throne room, so you never really saw a battle. Um, maybe you did once and you got promoted. So the Blacksmith shader, that looks quite good. Um, it turns the crest, you know, the crest on the chest says gold. Um, it's quite nice. Lost City, I like the shader, but it still kind of works on this. It does kind of work. Substance 321. You know, got a sandstorm kind of. You can imagine like a, a Mars. It's like a Mars camo, you know, sandstorm. But I've got to admit, the, uh, the two Iron Banner shaders work particularly well. Uh, you got the bronze and white there, the gold and white. If we flip that and use the gold spiral, we've got white trim and and a gold body, and that looks very cool as well. So I picked these shaders in particular out of all the ones that are available, because these seem to work the best. But I'm sure you guys, I mean, I don't have every shader, so I'm sure you guys can pick up shaders that you think are more prominent. Um, but there we have it. Days of Iron full armor set for the Warlock, and she's a beast. And thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one for the Hunter Full Days of Iron set. So cheers.